Can, can you tell us about like the transition from going from the military life to civilian life? Wow, that, it really can be hard. It really can be hard to transition because, and I'm, I'm only talking at a team guy's perspective, right? So you're on an operational A team and you're in a very confined secret world. You know, we, we go, we do our job, we come back, we don't talk about it, we debrief. So I was in a very small, unique group, okay? So when you get out, what do you have? Mm -hmm. You kind of lost that, right? Because yeah. you're not really a part of the A-teams anymore, right? You're not read on to the special access programs. Not that I care to, but there was a separation in that. Mm -hmm. There's a purpose in going out overseas fighting for humanity to free those oppressed, to free the enslaved, right? And then after 23 years, it stops. I, um, I meditated, I meditated mm -hmm. deeply on my new path and I broke the, open the book of five rings. Have you read that book? Uh, by Miyamoto Masashi? Yes. I read the book of earth, Okay. <laughs> the first one. When I was going through my darkest time, I picked up the Book of Five Rings and there was a passage on the Book of Five Rings where he says, do not look for strength anywhere else. Everything comes within. All your love, all your passion, everything comes within. And you know, the biggest mistakes I made at that time was because I was lost, right? Mm -hmm. I was looking for strength everywhere else. I was calling my teammates and, and asking for strength. I was calling my father and looking for strength. I was looking for strength in my wife. But when I read that passage, I was looking at all the wrong places. So I meditate on this for four years. I practice the state of Zen, the state of here and now, because I had a lot of pain from my past, the mm -hmm. war, loss, teammates. I had to let go of the past to find my present moment. You understand this? Mm -hmm. So through the process of the teachings of the martial arts, I found my Zen. Therefore, I found my peace. And when I found my peace, I was able to develop my inner strength, and then that allowed me to become a Ronin, a modern day Ronin. So I took all of my martial arts, all my experience. I operated in 27 countries. I, I fought the wars in the Philippines, Middle East, Africa, Central America. So all those areas, I took all that experience and I gave back to make a better person. A group here in collaboration with By the Edge.